great. Sure. So, um, oh, what I want to talk about today is Hootsuite. Um, I just want to get, get an idea. Is everyone on Twitter already, or do I? Okay. Is ev you're on Twitter? Okay. I'm, I'm actually, I was gonna say I just got I just put just, my first tweet down. So nice. Yeah. So you're a newbie. <laughs> you, got, you got a fresh newbie here. Okay. Great. Good to know. What's your username so we can follow it? Oh, actually, it's on um, back. So. B A G G underscore S. Okay. B A G G underscore S. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna use that to demonstrate. Okay. Don't, don't don't feel bad because I got on Twitter two years ago here. So. Mm -hmm. That's about how long ago I got. Well, no, I'm like six months. Six months. So yeah. yeah. So hi, welcome. Come on well, in. I guess you say the reason why I hesitate to Twitter is it's always a status update, but Facebook arrives that. So why have Twitter? That's what I felt. Right. Right. That, that's why I felt like being redundant in my opinion. But right. What do I? Mean? Um, and I look at it as the difference is Twitter is kind of like my news feed. I will also connect with people on Twitter that I don't necessarily know. Facebook, I'm much more private. Those are people I know. I put. That's more personal. That's my relationship site. So um, I have a role that if I didn't talk to you in high school, I don't, like if they're high school friends, I don't friend you on Facebook. Um, because if I didn't talk to you then, like why do you need to see pictures of my kids now? Hi, come on in, have a seat. No, that's okay. So, um, but Twitter's more like my news feed. So I follow industry people, I follow a lot of local people. And it was really fun because last year was my first pod camp. And I had met some people, but then kind of afterwards, hi, uh, after, come on, browse. I know you're just checking everybody out. We're good. We're good. So afterwards, I had gotten, I kind of, you know, you follow like the feed, the, the hashtag, and you, so I got to like, see, okay, these are like the movers and shakers in Pittsburgh. And, um, what's his name? Who just popped in? Mr. Derby is his Twitter name. That's how I know him. Norm. Norm, thank you. So Norm was one of those. And I was like, okay, Norm's a mover and a shaker. Follow him. I'm just talking about you. And um, I followed um, some other people, um, Uncle Crappy and Mrs. Crappy. And, um, you know, so but I hadn't met all of these people in real life. So then I come here and um, Anthony, who's at Chachi, says, I've been following and I've been tweeting with these people. And I finally met him yesterday. And he's like, don't I already know you? And I'm like, no, we've actually never met face to face. But that's what I loved about coming here and like the meeting some of these people and you know, and then meeting new people and things like that. So that's like my Twitter is um, people, some people I've met, but I'm much more open on my Twitter, but then I'm also, I don't, I'm more guarded on Twitter too because I don't do like my fret. I don't do like as much personal stuff on there. Um, some, but you know, it's, it's just, they're just, they're, to me, they're completely different. So my sister joined, um, yesterday I went to dinner with my family and for my aunt's birthday. Happy birthday, Helen. And um, it was her double 30th birthday. <laughs> and so um, my sister, we're sitting at the table, my sister said, oh, I just got a Twitter account, but I don't know what to do, and hands me her Android, and I'm like, okay. And I'm trying to, whatever built-in app she had was horrible. You couldn't search, so she didn't know how to find people. She's not following anybody yet because she just signed up on her phone. So she's like, I don't get it. I'm like, well, you wouldn't get it because so I downloaded Hootsuite for her. I'm like, okay, and now you're following me, so they're all my tweets. Is the only thing on her, on her thing. So this is Hootsuite. Um, I'm I don't work for Hootsuite, obviously. I'm just a user, um, but I found this to be really useful. I will say there's also TweetDeck. So a lot of what I say will, for the most part, apply to TweetDeck. They're just different products. I have I used TweetDeck originally, and I switched to Hootsuite. And really, the main reason was because TweetDeck is a desktop application, so you have to install it at work, you have to install it at home. This is what I do for my job: is manage social media. I work for Shady Side Academy, so I manage their website and social media. So I needed to be able to do that at work, but then I also want to be able to do it at home and not have to reset every time I add a new column. I didn't want to have to reset it up at home and then on my phone. So um, I went to Hootsuite because it's, it's browser based. And then so when I have my app on my Android, I have an app on my iPod, I have an app on my new iPad. <laughs> and um, so, but it's the same everywhere. I don't have to go in and, and add everything up again. So that's why I like it. Some people prefer TweetDeck, and I know some of the features are different. I haven't used TweetDeck in about a year or so, so I'm not really sure what those are. But um, so this is Hootsuite. 
So the main thing I use Hootsuite for is Twitter, but you can also do Facebook on it, LinkedIn on it, Foursquare, which I still don't totally understand why. You have to be on your phone for Foursquare, so I don't totally understand that one. Um, and you can do, those are the main ones, those are the ones I use at least. I think they just, uh, is, yeah. li is LinkedIn the part of it next? LinkedIn I mean, is I on it I mean, now. Uh, Google Plus, is that a part of it? I don't think that's on it yet because okay. Google Plus is still invitation only. Okay. Right? So I don't think they're on here yet because it's still, it's still, so it will be, I'm sure it will be at some point. They just haven't quite gotten that far yet. So um, this allows me to have, these are all of my accounts, my my social media accounts that I, that's a lot, right? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to join, it used to be free. It is still free for up to five, and I laughed. <laughs> five. No, I cannot. I literally couldn't bring it down to five. So I pay five ninety nine a month now. Kind of sucks, but um, it's six dollars. And then I think about what do I spend in caffeine in a month, and I went, okay, I'll just fork out the six dollars a month. And so um, that's what I do. But I mean, if you don't need that, definitely start out with the free version. Um, it does give you free social analytics. Um, you get five profiles, you get two RSS feeds, and you get some ad. Um, it's ad supported, so there's some ads on it. I'm advertising it free because I do pay. Um, I have the Facebook Insights and Google Analytics integration, and I'll show you a little bit about that. Um, and explain what some of those other things mean. And then there's an even bigger one that's like the enterprise solution. So um, it, you, all of this used to be free. <laughs> and now it's not, not by a long shot. So this is like oh on this is God. like, you know, this 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 is the moon and the stars as is seen in the picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that fourteen ninety nine or is that one thousand four hundred ninety nine? Yeah. Um, I think it's $1,499 a month, but they give you, like, this is for, like, Martha Stewart, or these are for, like, CNN. I mean, these are for, like, big companies where they have, and I'll kind of show you a little bit about, about why it's so big, because it allows you to build a team, and then you can, like, assign things and monitor things. So if you have to manage for a company like CNN that has a lot of um, social media outlets and you're managing a team, that's what that's for. Okay, I don't need that, so. <laughs> not, yes. not yet. Not yet, no, I will never need that because um, that is never worth my mortgage a month. <laughs> and um, my husband would, I would kill him, I would know. <laughs> yes. I just want to mention something about that. Well, my company, um, my career I'm working with, um, they're start, we're starting to get into the social media, but we do a lot of government contracting. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to use what Lockheed Martin, because Lockheed Martin has a Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and these guys build stuff for the military. So right. if you think about that, that's just another avenue of approach probably why. Right. right, if you had something that you had to be more secure with and things like that, yeah. So, um... So let me just kind of walk you through. I didn't do a PowerPoint, by the way, because one, I just had to do this yesterday at three, and two, I just like to demo and answer your questions. So I'm, I don't bother with the PowerPoint. No, just so, the PowerPoint. I know, this is the PowerPoint. And PowerPoints are great and have their place. They're just not for this presentation. So um, when you want to do a status update, very simple. You type in here. You type in what you want to do. You hit send now. You select first, which um, of your social media outlets that you want to use. What's nice about it is it tells you, um, um, it tells you how many characters you have left. Hold on, this is a little bit over, right down here. So I have 99, let me just do this. I have 99 characters left in Twitter. It automatically defaults to Twitter. But if I added Facebook, one of my, and these little flags are, my, are the Facebook pages. If I added a Facebook page or my Facebook account, like the little F is my personal account and the little flags are Facebook pages. If I add a Facebook page, it'll bump that number up to like 300 or 400 or whatever there is. And then if you get down, if you're sending to both Facebook and Twitter, the number will go red when you hit the Twitter number limit. So you'll know. And then it goes red too when you hit the Facebook limit, obviously, if you were just doing Facebook. 
Did that make sense? Okay, good. You can attach images or files, and it does use like the Hootsuite. It's like the Instagram for Hootsuite. Um, you can schedule out. Now, I went to um, a session yesterday, which was Facebook for in 2011 by Lunametrics, and they did say you shouldn't you shouldn't really schedule out. You should go for Facebook. You should go to Facebook and do your posts because um, it gets better results then. Because when you see a link on um, Facebook, it's from Hootsuite. The thing comes from Hootsuite, not from Facebook. And sometimes it can condense them. And I think that was, I didn't really think about that too much. Because, you know, like if you get like three links that are the same link, it condenses them. Well, if three companies send it out by Hootsuite, it sometimes will condense them. And then you're in with the other companies that are completely unrelated to because it's coming from Hootsuite. But I will say that if you're on vacation and that's, you're the only one who does social media in your company, and that's the only way it's getting out, I think it's better than not doing it at all. So, you know, you sort of have to weigh that. Um, and sometimes if I'm just super busy and I don't have time to do one on Facebook and on Twitter, I will just do them both at once. It sort of depends um, on the day. So, but you can schedule ahead of time. And um, I do use this also with, um, we have a center at the, at Chavis Head called the Hillman Center for Performing Arts. She just gives me like a list for the month and then I just go in and schedule them all for um, Facebook and for Twitter. And then I know they're going out when she wants them to. And another reason I do that is because we're education, but she's performing arts. Those I tend to do more evening hours than during the day. Like Shady Sides, I tend to do more during the day, but the um, Hillman, I'll do more evening and stuff because that's when like their target audience is more active. So I'm not, I'm at home with my kids, so I'm not here. So that's that's one of the things. So, um, I'm going to select me. I'm going to also select Little Birdie Com. Um, Little Birdie Communications is my side freelance business. So um, I should have said this in the beginning. I'm at Dave Sheehan, and I'm also at Little Birdie Com. And those are both me, um, the one's business and the one's like more personal in general. So I'm going to go ahead and send this out on both, and I'm going to hit send now. And then it will go. The other nice thing I like about, um, you can select which social media account you want to send this to, but then you can also monitor them all here. So you have a tab for each of your accounts. So I default to my Dana Sheehan because that's where I follow pretty much anybody that I want to see on a regular basis. Um, but little birdie, if I, I need to go and check that and see if anyone's mentioned me. Um, I had a few mentions today from this session, thank you. <laughs> and, um, and then um, I can also see direct messages and I'll go through that in a minute. So then I can go to Shady Side and see what's going on there. Um, you know, so what I like is that you don't have to go to the tab to tweet to that one, but you can go and monitor each of your accounts very easily. And it gives you like a limited amount and you can click and drag these around to organize them however you want. You can rename the tabs because otherwise they would all say like Shady Side or Hillman. So I had a, a name on Hillman um, Facebook, Shady Side Facebook, so that I know what they are. Um, it's very easy to add a tab. You can add a tab here and then set up your account. It's going to ask you which one you want to have on here. And I don't have any left. Because they're all on here already. Um, so, get back here. So the other thing I really like is the ability to set up columns. Because when you go to Twitter.com, one, you can only be in one account at a time. They block this for temporarily at my office, and I had a heart attack. Because I don't have time to log in and out of Twitter for every single account all day long. I just can't do that. That just really messes up my productivity at work. So um, I like to set up columns. So this is my home feed, and this one is everybody I follow under Dana Sheehan. That's usually on the left. But because I'm here, I set up a column with the hashtag PCPGH6. Who does not know what a hashtag is? Great, fantastic. Because um, sometimes I teach this and people are like, what's a hashtag? Which I don't mind explaining, but you don't need to know that. So um, I just set up the hashtag, I set it up as a column, and now I can see everyone who's using that hashtag. And what's nice is that these aren't necessarily people I'm following. And then I see, oh, I want to follow that person. I want to follow this person. So that helps me kind of like learn who's here, what people are talking about here, and what's going on. 
So I have my home feed and then I have my list. So these were set up when I did a little <laughs> fancy switching. I used to tweet, I started as Dana Sheehan in June of 2008 and I didn't really get it. You all know what I mean, like it takes a while to like for it to collect and be like, this is great. And I kind of didn't really use it, but I like having my name reserved just, you know, in case someone else named Dana Sheehan and there are others out there, um, came along. And actually about two months ago, someone came up as Dana Sheehan one. And I was like, yes, I already saved. I'm so glad. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, so then I started my business and was little birdie calm cause little birdie was taken. And so, um, I was tweeting very heavily on that one and then that sort of taken a back burner and I felt too restricted under little birdie that I wanted to be a little more free about, cause I felt like that was my business brand. So I couldn't really tweet about as much as I, and I was getting farther and farther away. So I switched them. You can't change your account name. You just go in and change it. So I changed Dana Sheehan to Dana Sheehan like two or whatever. Cause that other girl was Dana Sheehan one. And then I went and changed Little Birdie to Dana Sheehan because that was now available. And then I went to Little Birdie or Dana Sheehan 2 and changed it to Little Birdie Call. So I sort of switched them to kept both names. And the reason I didn't just like start using the other one is I had like 400 people following me at Little Birdie Calm that I still wanted to follow me on a regular basis. So I wanted to change my name around. So um, my lists I set up when I was Little Birdie Calm. So that's why they're coming in that way. So I have a list for Pittsburgh peeps. So these are people, um, any of you who follow me will get added to this list. Um, so I put people who are from the Pittsburgh area because that kind of lets me know what's going on around town. Um, and then I have a column for online communications because that's my field. So that's what I called it. Um, so I have like a business field. So these are people, Robert Scoble's in here and um, some of the people are in two. Um, Robin is six degrees Pittsburgh, and she's was sitting in front of me today. Um, so she works in this field. So she's here and she's in Pittsburgh Peaks because she's both. Um, I have Pittsburgh region, which is more like businesses, like the penguins aren't really people. I need to make that distinction in my head. Mentions so that I can see when anyone's mentioned me using my um, app. And then anything I've sent, there's also a column for pending tweets that I took out because you can only have 10 columns and I had all 10 and I wanted to add PCPGH5 so I took it out. Um, but you can have pending tweets so if you have anything scheduled and then you can edit it which is really important because sometimes things change or you realize you need a typo or, or something like that. So I'll go in. So you have a column for that. I'll add that one back later. And then there is a column for... Um, send tweets, pending tweets, and then direct messages. And you can choose to take these out if you don't want them or add them. And then um, I have a column for anyone know in Pittsburgh, which is a really neat little tip I learned. If you, people will write, does anyone know when the Steelers game is on? Does anyone know where I can find a chiropractor in um, the North Hills area? Well, if you're a chiropractor in the North Hills area, you want to know that and respond to that person and say, actually, we're a fantastic chiropractor. This is our website. This is when we're open. Give us a call. And then people, you know, that's a really great way for you to get new business. But if you do anyone know in quotation marks and then whatever your keyword or keywords are, whenever that comes up, it'll show up in this column. So I just kind of did Pittsburgh as just sort of a general one. And I get a lot of like, does anyone know when Justin Bieber is coming to Pittsburgh? You know, you get everything. But if you think about it, that's the phrase you use. Does anyone know? So I use that, and I kind of have a search search set up for that one, and that one kind of stays there all the time. Questions so far? No, good. So is that, yes. Does that anyone know just search? Uh, does it search the whole Twitter feed? Or yes, it searches everything. Mm -hmm. um, unless someone has private a private account. Um, and if you put it in quotation marks, it only does when anything know, anyone knows together. If you search a series of keywords, if I did anyone know in Pittsburgh without the quotation marks, it would search anytime anyone know or Pittsburgh is in a tweet. But when I did it in quotation marks, anyone know has to be together. And that kind of helps weed them out. Yeah. If you do like, um, like a Google search where you put a plus in front of it, will that, like, is, or is it not that like... I don't, advanced? I haven't tried that, but <laughs> I'm much sure. Okay. This works like for it me. It must have all of these words. Yeah, it, that it, might it work. It might be too advanced. 
That might work. I am going to try that, yeah. We'll what find out. We'll test that out. Mm -hmm. um, can RSS be from website updates be processed through this? Yes. Oh, uh, excellent. Yes. And um, we, you, there is a way to set up an RSS feed in here, and I'll show you how to do that. We at Chavyside use um, Twitter feed that was set up before I started there. And, um, but I'm having problems with it because when I go to my Facebook page now, you know, when you share a link on Facebook, you post a link on Facebook and then it has like, comment, share, it's dropping the share button whenever I post from Twitter feed, which are the ones I want to share. <laughs> Cause we do, um, all of our news is on our website and it pushes out to directly to Twitter and to Facebook. So I don't have to go in and do it manually. And that's another one of the things that the, the guy at Lunametrics was like, you shouldn't do that. But I'm like... If it doesn't go that way, it doesn't go out. Sometimes it takes me a couple days to get to it. So we just do it that way. And if you, you know, you just have to know what you're dealing with when you do it that way, what the risks are. And I'm willing to accept those risks. Mm -hmm. The other thing is nice is that um, anything here is this is a hot, this is highlighted. So you can click on any of these and learn about this person. It pulls up their. Um, their bio, their, their information. So I see what his name, whatever he said, and this pulls us out of Twitter. So his location, you know, followers, their cloud, um, their bio, you know, whatever they put in when they join Twitter, um, their URL. You know, this is all pulling that straight out of your Twitter profile information. And then you can follow them. So if I choose to follow this person, um, let me see. I'm trying to think, is there someone here that I don't, I don't follow? So um, this guy's from Pittsburgh, so we'll go. You know, he's not in this room, because okay, that would be weird. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. So I'm going to follow him, and I'm going to follow him at Dana Sheehan. Um, you could unfollow someone, too, this way, which is also nice to know. Um, you can DM them. You can reply to them. You can add to list. So then I'll go in here, and I'll pull down my list, and I'll save this person um, to my Pittsburgh peeps list, too. So I can do that all very quickly. And right through here, I don't have to go to Twitter. I don't have to go anywhere else. The only things you really can't do here is the things like your profile information that you do on Twitter. Um, if I want to change my picture, I have to actually log into Twitter and remember what my password is and change it there. Same with like your Twitter background. Obviously, you have to change it on Twitter because that's not even pulling into here. You can also pull up a hashtag and save it as a stream, which saves it as a column, which is nice too. So if I didn't have this one here, I could click save as stream and I already have 10, so it's not gonna let me. Yeah. But if I went here, I don't think I have 10 set up here. And then it just pops that right in. If you wanna add a stream, you can also go to search just hit enter and it kind of does the same thing it pops it all in for you and then you can see that as a stream too so that's how you set up a stream it's really easy to do so if I was looking for um, this is also how I find people what's your name I can't see your name oh, uh, my Tom? Name? yeah like uh, your real name, the one your parents gave you. Yeah, Thomas. Did I do that right? Yes, that's okay. that is correct. Yes. Okay. Don't worry, it won't be me. I couldn't find you when I started. Yeah, I just read it here. Okay. Did right. you just sign up? I just signed Sometimes up. Sometimes it takes a little while. It might not find you just yet. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can find my sister. I had so much fun yesterday setting her up. So I'm finding her right now just because I had tweeted and welcomed her. If you would all do me a favor and say welcome to Twitter to my sister, I would be like, be awesome. So it's clala65, C-L-A-L-A-65. -L -A -L -A and then she would be like, that's so famous. Um, that would, she would like that. Um, you can follow her if you want. I give you no guarantees how often she's going to post and what you're going to post about because um, she is not as into the stuff as I am. So I try to get her to come today. I'm like, you have to come. She's like, I have to work. I'm like, damn it. Okay, fine. She couldn't come yesterday because her, kid, her daughter had a game that she was cheering at. And I was like, your priorities are just so out of whack. Children working. 
That's why you send Hot camp is so much more important than all of those things. That's why you send the kids to the grandparents for the weekend. I know. I know. <laughs> but I get she didn't want to know it's her daughter's game. So um, if you look for someone who has a user account, so let me, um, I don't know why this is just what came to my head right now, which was Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a little scary. So it'll pop up with users. There's a lot of Charlie oh Sheens out there. And then um, I can, I don't like to, you can just follow. I don't like to do that. I like to make sure it's like the real Charlie Sheen because heaven forbid it's not really Charlie Sheen. Oops, sorry, I have the wrong one. But you can just follow it if you want to and select which one you want to follow it at. Um, but you can also click on this and look at their, their um, profile. I see it's a verified account. So, and he has four, almost five million, five million um, followers. And um, he's still winning, just so you know. And um, I can follow him or unfollow him. I think I did follow him just because it was like hard not to. I was like, oh, I, I sort of hate myself for following him, but I think I did. You can also look at their timeline. So this is what I'll do too and see what are they tweeting about? Are they actually interesting or are they just selling me crap? This is how I find spammers because if you mention the word iPad, just look out. Um, I love my new iPad, which I do, but however, apparently a lot of other people like iPads and they're bad people. <laughs> you can usually tell the spammers because they have zero followers. They have at least 12. It's like 12 is the magic number. They have at least 12 tweets, which all happened within the last five minutes. <laughs> and they've been on Twitter for 30 seconds, and they have usually a pretty slutty. It's always a girl, and she's slutty in her picture, <laughs> which is some like, yeah. what would you say? Or the goose egg. Which or yeah, the, I, most picture. of them have the photo. Like they yeah. take the time to download some poor innocent girl's picture from the internet and use it as their face. And then I, you can hit the button that says "Report a Spammer." <laughs> it is not. It might not be on this one, but um, I have seen it before. Let's just randomly pick somebody. Here, report spammer. You click report spammer, and it says, "Are you sure?" And I'm like, "Yes." I am sure. What I've noticed sometimes is sometimes when I click on them, they're already gone, which means they've been reported as a spammer and removed already. What if the, you also yes, know right. if it's just a link. Like if you get like, hey, and it, right. it adds you, and it's just a link. Yeah. Chances are it's if you've never heard of this person and they're offering you a free iPad, <laughs> don't click on the link and report them as a spammer. It's your duty for a good a good it's Twitter. It's pretty clear. I always spam immediately, and like. It, it happens, but it's not like yeah. I'm getting a ton of data. Yeah. Maybe one I two. usually get one or two when I mention like the iPad or something like that too. Yeah, but so so you know they're annoying, but it's not overwhelming as it is in some other places. So over on the left is where you access all of your other features in Hootsuite. So this is your streams. I'm on here now. Um, Publisher is. Um, if you want to schedule separately, they have a new way to schedule. I still do it the old school way where I just type up in the up here and click on the button and schedule it, but you can schedule a bunch. Um, require approval deals with, again, like when you have the team members I kind of mentioned before, I don't use that. I'm the only one. Um, past scheduled, which I think that shows you the ones you've already done. Um, any of your RSS feeds. I don't have anything through here which I may start doing because of the whole, um, I had forgotten they have it on here because of the whole um, Twitter burner thing on Facebook. Um, they do have some basic analytics. You get one custom report with your $5.99 a month, and I haven't delved into that yet. I do an analytics report for Shadyside every month, and I literally go into to Google Analytics, and then I go into Hootsuite, and I go into Facebook, and I literally pull in the analytics from each and put together like a 10-page report, and I do a lot of copying and pasting and some math, which thank God for Excel because I'm a math person. But you can do custom reports. I usually go up here to Quick Analytics, and this is where I can see various reports. The first one that pops up is Alley. So when you shorten your URL, you have some different options, but I've stuck to the traditional Alley. It's O W L dot L. I get an L because it's too sweet. So um, I can go in here and see all of my tweets, and if I've done a link, if I've gotten any hits on them, where my hits come from, where my region is, 
my most popular tweets. So um, I don't send out, I send out some links, but at Shady Side, they're almost all links. You can also change the date. It, it's really nice because it will give you, it, it defaults to like the last week, but then you can also do 14 days, month to month, and this is my favorite one, previous month. Because when I do my analytics reports, I'm doing the previous month. So this will just pop in here. Apply. Okay, sorry. Apply. Apply works. And I can see all of the hits that I've gotten on my Owly links at Shadyside in the past month. And it gives me a nice number um, right here, 195. Thank you. I don't have to do the math myself. <laughs> so I know I had 125 clicks on links from Shadyside Academy in the month of August. And I pop that into my report. And then I um, I have to go into... Anyway, you don't need to know that. I have to add some other things in there. But that gives me like a nice quick thing. And then I can go in here and see what is the most popular thing. So pictures of our borders moving in. Awesome. I got 48 clicks on that. Fantastic. That's great. Um, I got our magazine. That was good. Um, news. Um, news about parents. That's one of our parents. I don't know if you guys know of... Um, Motherboard, I think it's called, in, in the motherhood. Um, there's two women that run that, and one of the women that runs that is one of the parents of, um, her son actually is in class with my son at Shadyside. So, you know, and she, she, they went to Africa for a week, a bunch, there was a group of 10 mommy bloggers that went to Africa, and she was one of them. So we, of course, put that out there on Twitter. So, but this gives me a really good idea. Um, our popular ones tend to be alumni stories, which is the hardest ones for us to get because they're gone. Um, Christian Borrell is one of our alumni, and he is starring in a new NBC show called Smash coming out in January, which we're super excited about. Um, with um, Deborah Messing, we were like, what? <laughs> and um, Catherine McPhee, McPhee from American Idol. And it actually looks really good, too. So I was like, oh, not only is like this is like great for us, but this actually looks like something I will watch. <laughs> so it's this whole, he's a star on Broadway. He was in Mary Poppins. I'm going to go with Mary Poppins. Um, and he was a Dick Van Dyke character. I forget what his name was. And so we're excited about that. And then um, the, do you watch Big Bang Theory? This seems like mm -hmm. the crowd that would watch Big Bang Theory. Priya, <coughs> the girl who plays Priya, she's a graduate from Shady Side. So, you know, those are the kind of things that tend to get a lot of hits for us because alumni resonate with that. So that gives us a good idea. We can go through and say, okay, this is what's popular. We need more alumni stories. So or faculty staff stories or whatever, and then we go and try to get those. You can also do individual. So this is showing me like the most popular ones, but I can go to um, Shady Side, hit apply, <coughs> and the one thing about it, sorry. There, it pops them up over here, and then I can click on that one and hit apply if I want to see what a specific tweet is doing, um, what a specific link is doing. And this, keep in mind, this only does the ones you've shortened through Hootsuite. So if you haven't done the, the Hootsuite shortener, it won't track it. Um, so that's why I always do that. If you just put in the link, it won't track it. So that's why I usually shorten it when I do it on Hootsuite because that way I get the analytics, which is really nice to and have. To yes. just take it a step further, obviously, a <coughs> say directly to Facebook doesn't get included. Right? I'm sorry. Anything that, anything that you post directly to Facebook on that account would not get included in, in the Hootsuite analytics. If you use the hourly shortener, it does. Oh, it does. Because it's, okay. if anytime someone clicks on that hourly oh, link, okay. it tracks. Okay. What I'm trying to figure out is how to tell the difference between the Twitter and the Facebook, and that's what I'm kind of struggling with right okay. now. Okay. But you can also pull in your Facebook insights if you want to. So um, the shady side... I tend to still go to Facebook and actually do this because I download the Excel spreadsheet so I can aggregate the numbers. But um, you can look through here. So if you're just kind of trying to quickly go through. I'm always surprised that we have a little bit. Isn't Facebook generally more women than female? But we're skewed, just slightly more men, which always surprises me. Maybe it's because we used to be a boys' school. I don't know. That might be why. And then you can also pull in Google Analytics, which I haven't set up yet. That's a fairly new feature. So you can do that, and then you can just go here. You're already logged in here and just kind of eyeball everything. Um, I have on, on my computer, um, I have the, I use Firefox, so I have the little, what are those called, the add-ons? And I have the Google Analytics add-on, so I just click on it and open in a new window. 
So like I said, I haven't really used the custom reporting yet. I should probably do that. It would probably make my life easier, but I haven't quite gotten around to that yet. Assignments is when you have people on the team, like I mentioned. Um, I think with this, what was it, one team member? Yeah, I get, oh, this is the big fancy one, sorry. <laughs> I get one free team member. It's not super helpful. Um, so I don't really use that feature because I usually do it. I like to do it anyway. That doesn't mean that not more than one person can use that account. That just means only one person can be like attached to you. So, because we have interns at our Hellman Center who um, do some of the tweeting, although I'm starting to take that over. Um, I, I advise against that, by the way, but because I like to have everything make sure it's in our voice and um, makes sense. Um, so you can look at your contacts, and I can see everyone I'm following, everyone who's following me, um, and then I can follow them, all that kind of stuff. This is pretty similar to what you see on Twitter. And then you have your settings. So this is where you can add social networks. Um, you just click add, you pop in your username, you select which type. Oh, so here's all the different ones that they use. Um, I didn't mention Mixy or Ping, because I don't, in my space, I forget MySpace existed. <laughs> Does anyone use MySpace anymore? I just have a statement about yes. MySpace. Uh, College Humor did a um, sort of roast of Facebook, and each uh, each one account was like a character. So if you get the chance, pull that up, and they really rip on MySpace through the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't... <laughs> I was on MySpace first, and then I went to Twitter or Facebook, and now I'm just on Facebook. I mean, I have, it like exists somewhere, but... It's on MySpace. So you can add your in here, and I'm sure you're all smart enough to figure out how to do that. Um, your organization, um, this is when you're adding your members. Um, Sarah York Rubin is the head of the Hellman Center, so she's like my one team member. I had set that up before they changed it to like only one per $5.99 a month account and just keep her on there. Um, this is where you set up your RSS feeds, where you can change your accounts, preferences, um, and and um, themes, you can change the way it looks. So they have, you know, blue steel. I'm in the classic and then they have the magnum. <laughs> I know, that sounds a little I'm odd. I'm with blue. Yes. Um, and then um, tools, they do have like Hootsuite University. They do have an affiliate program, which I need to be smarter about and use that. Um, extensions and downloads. I do use the Hootsuite um, Firefox add on, which is fantastic because I can go to the Post-Gazette's website and if there's something I want to, a story about one of our teachers, I just click on that and it pops it in, shortens the URL for me, and then I can make changes to the text and then send that out. And I don't have to do the copying. It pulls in like the title of the article. It says like pittsburghpostgazette.com and then it has, um, it has the URL. The only thing I don't like is then I have to go find their Twitter handle because I like to give them credit, Twitter credit on Twitter. But what I will tend to do is do that once for Twitter, and then I'll do a longer version for Facebook, but I'll just do it all right from there. Um, the app on your phone is also nice. Um, they have one for, I mentioned before, the Android, which is what I have, the iPhone slash iPod, and the um, iPad. What's nice is you can take a picture on your phone, open up your, um, click share, or this is how it works on the Android, I take a picture, I click share, Hootsuite is one of my options, and then I can select which account and what I want to say, and then it'll send it out. I did that yesterday. Um, I did that yesterday, let me see if I can see some tweets. I took a picture. I love PodCam because I go from like two tweets a day to like 45. <laughs> what was yesterday the 17th? Okay, so this is one I took in the lunchroom and sent it out. So, so this is what it looks like when you send it out. And then you can see other pictures I've taken. These are my kids. So I do occasionally do stuff with my kids, but I don't tend to do that too much. Um, what I want to quickly leave you with is um, if you're new to Twitter or new-ish or like you're on it but you're kind of not really sure, um, Twitter Revolution is a really great book. Um, it helped me a lot when I was really trying to figure out how to use Twitter 
and um, kind of like general guidelines. Their attitude is there are no rules, but it gives you a lot of really good tips. The only thing I will tell you is there's a lot of typos in it, which I found disappointing for a professionally published book. And I'm not talking about the Twitter examples that they put in here. I'm talking like in the text. Um, if you can look past that, the rest of the advice is really good. <laughs> Um, the other one, other book that I do like is called Groundswell. If you haven't read this yet, it's really, really good. And it goes beyond Twitter. It's just sort of like how social media is, it's, it's essential for business now. It used to be, um, you know, a website was nice and now a website is required. And then, oh, social media is like, that's nice. Well, now you need to have a social media presence. Um, if you work at a business, um, your business needs to have a social media presence. Even if you just reserve your Twitter name and monitor, um, you need to be on there because people are talking about you. And if you're not on there, you don't know that and you don't know what they're saying. Um, trust me, people say things about Shady Side Academy. Um, I'm sure you can imagine what they are. They're usually nice things, but occasionally, you know, we get like, oh, we're going to see the rich snob at Shady Side Academy. Um, we know people say that about us. Um, it's not true, but... You know, we like to know at least who's saying that about us. And if we need to respond to something, we can respond to something. You know, sometimes things get out there that you need to you need to be ahead of that. Um, we recently, I can't go into details, but we recently had something happen. Something happens everywhere. You need to be ahead of it. We were, it was a situation we were like, we need to monitor this situation and make sure it's not causing problems. And it hasn't. But if we had not had these things in place, we wouldn't been in a place to at least monitor them. Any other questions? Yes. How does being verified work? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Twitter thing. Yeah. Um, if you're, you have to be important. Okay. I'm not important enough to be verified. Um, you have to be like a celebrity or, um, you know, someone who people may, yeah, Norm may know You have better. to request it from Twitter directly. So you have to go to Twitter.com and request it and then they, Review do it. Do whatever they do to approve it. I have never gone through that process. But a lot of people like put bird verified. That's yeah. just a self. And the bird verified is kind of like a, yeah, bird. <laughs> well, that's your boring pets. You can do it through boring pets. Yeah, it's your boring pets for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can also <laughs> just type it in. Yeah. So that's a bird verified is, you know, I think we're all bird verified, okay, basically. But, um, but to be Twitter verified, you do have to go through them. But I... I'm sure I could go through that process, but I don't know how far I would get. Because like, you who you are. <laughs> you know, I'm not um, Kim Kardashian or someone like important. Yes. You got a no, question? Um, You're good. You're good. Okay. Yes. Um, she's she's important. Important. I know. Did you just say that Kim Kardashian? Is that was a joke. That was sarcasm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes my humor, people think I'm serious. That was totally sarcasm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, um, Quick analytics. Is that available on both the free version and the? Um, I think. Let's look. Let's see, like a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. I was more concerned about the the owie, just the quick. I think that's included in the free. Okay. Um, the owie shortener is. I think the quick analytics is included in the free. Okay. It's like on their homepage. I have to log out. I lost it. Norm, did you have a question? I was gonna, I don't know if I, was, I was gonna ask you, how do you deal with, like you mentioned, like, you know, if you, if you see someone with a tweet like Shay's Academy and then maybe something of concern comes up to you. Right, how do I like, deal with it? How do you guys choose to deal with it? Um, <laughs> internally, I'll usually, um, if it's something, yeah. we, fortunately we haven't had anything that's been like scathing, you know. Um, occasionally I've had something where I've just sent a tweet back and maybe corrected it. Um, it's usually informative, it, like wrong information. If we do have sort of a crisis plan, so if something alarming were to happen, we would have a meeting and it would, it, we would include, depending on how escalated it was, how, what it was, we would include the president if we needed to, or our school heads, which are our principals. Um, and my boss is the director of communications and I, and if anyone else needed to be involved and have a meeting and decide like, you know, what do we need to do to address this and how do we need to how is it is it as simple as sending back a tweet and saying um you know making a correction and leaving it as that is it something that's bigger is it something the media is getting a hold of do we need to do a press release do we need to call some reporters i mean it depends on what it is we haven't had to do that we've been pretty lucky so far but we do have 
we do have, you need to have that plan in place to know what, you know, when something comes in, how, how quickly do you need to escalate it? What, what are your response options?